Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? We're playing some more Dota 2, but talents times 10. This mode is actually really popular. Look at that. 276 people playing right now, which is always exciting. And uh, yeah, it's using the Dota bot template now too, which means we can manipulate it a little bit better, make it a bit more fun. And uh, we got ourselves face this void. Why face this void? Well, the idea is basically at level 10 we're gonna be kind of like okay. Level 15 we make our time walk not have a cooldown. Level 20 we make the time walk, time walk global. <laughs> we buy an acronym and it's gonna be great. At that point everything is fantastic and everybody's having a good time. Except for our opponents I assume. They'll probably not be that happy. But that's okay. Alright. Well I was kind of, you know, Kind of hoping I would continue having some backup here, but but I I, I guess that will just kind of left. That's okay. All right, I should have seen that. I'll grab some boots. And uh, it doesn't really matter that much. So what's important here, of course, is getting the levels. Once we get to level uh, level ten, we become significantly more powerful. Although, again, uh, we are not going to be the strongest at level 10 in particular. With us, it's really more about level 15, level 20. We'll also need an Aghanim. So, a bit of a slower build, which is always kind of scary. But we'll just have to spend some time in the jungle. Uh, Witch Doctor, for example, gets 750 damage, which is kind of crazy. Lich, uh, similarly enough, at level 15 gets 1200 damage. Which, I'm not sure which one is better, 750 or like... Uh, we'll just go ahead and hope for a bash on this. We're not gonna get it, are we? No. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta pray, right? <laughs> gotta get lucky sometimes. Alright. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, so time it shall be. What is Balmy's accent? And somebody says German. I don't really think I have that much of a German accent. If you have heard people from Germany speaking English, uh, there's there's a lot like that I would consider to be a very classic. German accent that I don't do at all. <laughs> what I think I have is a lot more just kind of like general nonsense that I picked up. <clears throat> Alright. Where I feel like the odd pronunciations in my English more often than not are mostly based on me mishearing things more so than they are based on me having like a German preconception of what it's supposed to sound like. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, do we go for it? Stun? Oh, we did get it. Uh, it's probably not enough though. It might get close. Uh, but I don't think the Maledict is strong enough yet. Ow. That's just scary. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, gonna go ahead and heal up really quick. In this mode, uh, keep in mind, it's Global Shop, you can just buy shit. <laughs> do, do you need healing? You can just buy healing. <laughs> like, globally, and just put it into your inventory. <laughs> so... But yeah, it's kind of this like uh, weird little thing, you know. Hello. Ah, I opened up that. I'm gonna take this kill. Hey, if you're given a freebie like that, you take it. It's that simple. And like, you know, sometimes. Using the Chronosphere can be a bit questionable for a single kill. But to be completely honest, this early on in the game, I think that's definitely worth it. Especially if it's a solo kill. <laughs> that's a lot of experience. Oh, no. Alright, that's, that's interesting. 
Careful. All right, I need I need a trigger. No. Okay. Kind of unlucky there. We got we got this maxed out, so 24% chance to get it. Um We didn't. All right, I feel like if we get that, if we get the time lock, that's probably a kill. Right? And I think that we even have a good chance of surviving because it's another hit with life steal, it's some damage we prevent. Sadly, we didn't get it, so sometimes you just get unlucky. All right, what can you do about it? So we're just gonna go back to farming up with the creeps here. One of the big things we are uh, looking for is level 10, of course, right? So once we reach that, we'll have a lot easier of in time. All right, now is quite difficult. You know what, I'll just grab the Mask of Madness. Just so I can farm these jungle creeps a bit better. Oh my god, you can't just fuck off, dude. There we go. I hope that was worth it. Yeah, come on, that was obvious, dude. Alright, bash. Bash. There we go. Got him. Alright, that was pretty good. <laughs> Feel pretty good about that. All right, we got ourselves a nice quick kill. Actually, two kills. Most of that thanks to the Witch Doctor Ward, which is so good. But hey, we'll take it. Um, hmm. What do we should buy next? I think we want to just rush towards the Agonims. We're gonna be needing that as quickly as possible. I need a bash. Oh well, I guess we're fine. It would have been a little bit easier if we had gotten a bash in there, but oh well. We don't always get it, right? Ah! Rude. <laughs> That's okay. Grab ourselves that point booster. And at level 10, we'll go for the 150 damage. And that's really purely for farming. Right? 150 damage will help us get to the later levels faster. Very significantly faster. So, we we'll to just kind of optimize that. And I think we got a pretty early level 10. Yeah. Reasonably early, I think. Mango tree. Not the most useful thing, but hey, we'll take it. Here we go. Just toss that thing down. <laughs> okay. More time walk. And honestly, once we have Agonims maxed out, we can actually just like start running, running things down pretty well. Ocean Heart. Uh, I think I'll take that over the the Almor. Because Ocean Heart, plus 5 unto all the attributes. I mean, is it the best thing in the world? No, but it's not terrible. Alright, it does perfectly fine. It's perfectly adequate for our purposes. And, uh, I mean, the big thing with us is really just getting those levels. There we go. Agonims is online. So at this stage, I think we want to just go for something that's a little bit more defensive, like maybe Invisibility. Right, so we have a tool to kind of sneak around the place a bit. Ah, damn it. Yeah, Faceless Void's leap is a bit weird. As in, you can cast it outside of cast range. And then it will just still complete the cast. Which <laughs> is not how that stuff usually works. Okay, um... That's okay, I'll, I'll take this. There we go. That's pretty good. I mean, I do a lot of damage. Be careful. <laughs> you got, you gotta, gotta have a little bit of respect here. Because trust me, I, I heard. 150 damage on Faceless Void is quite significant. You always gotta keep in mind, you know, like, can you actually get those hits in? Because while, well, yeah, okay, you know, there was Sunrise get 750 damage and. That's a lot more. 
he also has a lot harder of a time actually getting those hits in. Admittedly, he also has to get much fewer hits in. <laughs> I mean, 750 damage. Oh my god, look at, look at those two champions going at it. And I don't mean champions in a League of Legends way, I mean champions in the... You know, they're a bunch of champs way. You know what I mean? I'm kind of curious how Abaddon would fear in the exponential mode. Uh, I mean, I imagine it would be probably quite silly. Abaddon is one of those heroes where his tool set is so... I don't know. Like, the way I would describe um, that tool set, or like the issue there, is that it's very absolute. Right? As in, there's really no in-between with Abaddon. Right? Abaddon is either invincible or not. <laughs> and it may sound a little weird, right? But like, you know, think about it that way. Like, Abaddon, instead of reducing all damage, it could only be reducing 90% of the damage or something like that. Um, they are in between stages, and Abaddon doesn't have those. Nah. <laughs> we need mana. How do we get mana? I guess we could get like a lot of Lincolns or something. Alright. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> We do need mana, though. <laughs> Why not get a Lincolns? Time flows. <sighs> the enemy's bottom tower has fallen. All right, I think this is, by the way, not even the strongest we're gonna get. Like we're missing a very important piece, still, and also. Keep in mind, at level 25, we can get 95% backtrack. 95%. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know if that's legal. You know, I feel like I feel like the the Dota police might show up and like just yeah, just file like an official suit or something. <clears throat> So, Face forward. there's a guy. I knew there was a guy. Yeah, that's that's gross. <laughs> we we did get him. Though. We did get him. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would like a haste rune here, yes, thank you. Haste. Look at how fast we go. We got some mana. Luckily, the time walk doesn't consume that much of it. Oh, I get what's going on. Oh shit, I'm out of mana. <laughs> Uh, so, yes. Klings at level 10, which is really weird. Though I'm pretty sure it's level 10. Klings gets a talent that reduces the cooldown of his ultimate. Time flows. So, that kind of yes. means he doesn't have a cooldown on his ultimate. Is it level 15? Oh, it's at level 15. Okay, well, it's still kind of weirdly early. Right, usually, like, ultimate talents tend to be more like level 20, level level 25. So... That's kind of what's gonna be um, going on with that guy a little bit. This means that now he can't just spawn infinite skeletons. 
The problem, as, you know, Archimo just mentioned, is that it does cost a lot of mana, and yeah, it does. Um, but it's about to start being really fun for us. Are you guys ready? <laughs> uh, Alright, I think they're here, right? <laughs> Alright, I got him. I'll go back to the base really quick if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we got we gotta go heal up really quick. <laughs> uh. Oh hello. Got him. I need more mana. <laughs> I should get Kaya. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we get a Bloodstone? <laughs> I'm gonna get Kaya. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, I think there's a guy down here. Aww. <laughs> hey, Major Bark. Thank you very much for the 27 months. I appreciate it. Muda, 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 muda. That's right. Ah, oh, this is... I mean, this is just some exceptional cancer right here. I mean, I, I quite appreciate it. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Okay, by the way, in case you are like, Mommy, that's, I mean, like, that's really overpowered. That's kind of lame what you're doing here. It's the whole point of the mode, right? Like, this, everything is fucking overpowered. Everything is lame. I guess it's the kind of mode where you just embrace it. Like, just whatever. Just Just go with the flow of it. Alright, there's Teal here. Hello, what's up? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll be done soon. Oh, hello. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, man, I went into deep. I believed a little bit too much right there. I wanted to hit two of them. Like, I could have just taken one of them. <sighs> Once Nyx Assassin hits level 25, we'll be in trouble. Because I don't know, I'm not really sure we're gonna deal with a thousand agility, to be completely honest. Oh, you're already level 25. Oh, Spark Ray has no cooldown and does 3000 damage. <laughs> All right, it seems Sadness also found something that's pretty decent. All right. Ah, is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, this is this is being quite the weenus right now. I I'll be completely honest. I'm sorry. This is this is being quite the maximum weenus. But um, sometimes that's just the life you live. Wait, I know you were here. Oh, he's dead already. God, Alcorn. 
I thought I was gonna be broken, and Ark Warden... Then Ark Warden shows up and just blows shit up. Oh, it's Kunkka, the immortal one. Oh my god, those talents! 60 armor, 100 health region, and 200 strength. I didn't even put that together, what Satsa was doing. That's funny. Like, this is not going into an ability like everybody else is doing, right? Satsa just went for, like, the hero with the tankiest fucking talents. Oh, damn, look at that. They managed to go invisible. One second, I have a strategy. Oh, never mind. Don't even need it. Alright, put them out of the misery. Put them out of their misery, these poor fools. What can they do? What can they do? <laughs> Each of those is this over 3000 damage. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> that was brutal. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. We would definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.